guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys my silk press routine from start to finish all products shown in this video are going to be in the description box so for this video i'm using all myel products down to the deep conditioner and i will list the flat iron that i used and blow dryer that i use in the description box so my hair has been in a protective style for about two months now i did mini knotless on my own hair so that's the start out product of how my hair was looking at a protective styling and now i'm just going to shampoo twice since i've had that protective style on my hair for two months i want to make sure my hair is really really clean since i'm going to be straining it has been in this protective style for two months i'm going to use a lot of conditioner so i can be able to detangle my hair easily and when i rinse that out i rinse my hair out with cold water while i detangle with my wide tooth comb So I deep condition my hair in sections because it's easier for me to style my hair that way. Since my hair is really, really thick, it's easier for me to detangle. So when you're doing a silk press, you want your hair to be as light as possible. You don't want to use a million products because then your hair will be weighed down and it really won't last. So me, I literally only use this one product and I live by this product. It's, it's a 10 leave-in, so it's a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant at the same time. So since I found this, I've been so happy because this is the best my hair has ever came out since I've been using this. It adds shine to your hair and it makes your hair really, really, really straight. So you want to make sure your hair was soaking up all of this heat protectant. So I like to spray and then I like to finger comb my hair just so I can make sure it's on every inch of my hair because I don't want to be damaged. So I'm going to make sure my hair is protected. So make sure you get that product in your hair. So my hair is in these four sections. Again, I'm actually going to sleep like this overnight and let my hair air dry. That way I don't have to use that much heat when I'm blow drying. So this is my hair the next day. My hair is completely dry basically, so I won't have to blow dry it that, that long. So I like to detangle my hair since it's been like this overnight, and then I'll go in with my blow dryer. So I'm going to section my hair into four and then I'm going to show you guys how I flat iron and then I'm going to speed things up a bit. So when I flat iron, I like to do the chase method. So the chase method is basically when you take the comb and then you chase it with the flat iron. I like this method because it works really, really good for me. Um, and guys, whenever I use a flat iron, I literally only do one pass. I don't do two, don't do three. The one pass does it for me. with this section so I'm gonna trim my hair as I'm finished with the section so um, I do trim my own hair and I only go for a trim if I need it like really, really bad but I like to do my own trims so I'm gonna do my trim section by section
finally done with my hair. I started at about like 9.30 and I finished at two in the morning or one in the morning because I like to do really, really small sections. So all I'm gonna do now is just wrap my hair up with um, some bobby pins and go to bed just like that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like my video, like and subscribe. I'll be back with more content soon. Thank you.